Good day there, chaps. Welcome back to some more Bomber Crew. If I sound weird this episode, it's going to be because I am both sniffly and I just had to... I just went to the dentist yesterday. Things are uh, not too great, but I want to record some anyway. So, you know, if I sound weird, that's because, you know, that, that happened. Anyway, this episode, we are probably going to be doing Operation Chastise. But first, we would like to go and prepare ourselves a little bit better. We'll be flying over here to the truck factory near Paris. Short duration, medium risk, we'll get ourselves another 1200 intel or something, depending on whether we can get some recon in there as well. We'll get about four grand. And we've got enemy armor down for next two missions, so that would be easy. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of new guns. We've upgraded the ventral to a 50 cal marked to Mark 1. So it's dual 50s. Tail gunner still a 303 Mark 2 times 2 with ammo feed. Mid upper 303 times 2 Mark 3. So that's a decent amount of damage as well with 1200 ammo per belt. No turret has the same setup as well. So you know we've got good gunners now and good guns. This is good. This is going to go very well. Let's go to Paris, I say. Enemy patrols are capturing too many of our downed crew. We're going to do something about that. Right now. Uh, you don't need to grab ammo, that's a beautiful thing. Right, let's get ourselves ready to go. We're going to be their target for tonight. Come get some, Jerry! You can bloody well try. You know what, BBS, could you get me a kit of ammo? Raise the gears, there we go. Get back in your seat. Super Sarge can immediately get on the ventral. There we go. So now we've got one box of ammo lying there for long stroke if he needs it. I think that'll be good. Let's get to this factory. We'll try to ditch all our bombs on it, as we tend to do. Because I find that gives you a lot of bonuses. You know, you don't want to risk having bombs left in your bomb bay. People might shoot them and they might explode. It is a possibility, I think, in this game. Wouldn't be surprised, anyway, if it is. Navigation is difficult through all the clouds. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're going to have that again. We can barely see as it is in income the clouds. Ah, that'll be fine. Nanon, could you radio for recon? That would be lovely. Thank you very much. I don't think we'll be doing much of anything else. For now, anyway. New intel received. Adding the map. There's danger zones over there. Okay. Good to know. That's why we recon. Very good to know, indeed. Alright, then. And we fight our spotted on radar. Okay, now we, now we get to the fun stuff. There they are. Gunners are looking sharp. Let's get ready for them. There we go, one of them's down. Two of them are down. And that's the third one. Who barely managed to put some shots on us. I think that went pretty well. Let's dip down to low, because we have no visibility and I would like to navigate a little bit. We are now at the coast after all. I think we'll be going in the right direction, but... Never hurts, you know. Pull an emergency dive, so that we can get some better visibility. Now, this will make the ammo slide backwards a little bit. Or, you know, it doesn't at all. Forget I said anything. A lot of flak over there. There might be an optional objective there, then. We'll have to check it out. Oh, there's the area flak. Fair enough. Radio for recon's nearly recharged. We're gonna go do the evade flag. Nearby hazards added to map, that's fine. You can try. We're dodging. So, you know, keep trying. It's not gonna do much. New course blot it right over there. We'll take it in a minute. Focus is recharged on the gunners. I can't order you to manually reload, can I? No. Optional recon spotted. All right. We're headed straight for it, pretty much. Fighters coming in behind us somewhere. 
Yep, there they are. Kinda like the Radar Mark II, I'm gonna be honest. It's useful. Get ready to take a picture. We're gonna recon ourselves a little bit of an airfield. Fan, focus. Takes up to medium altitude. We've got an engine on fire. Uh, take the picture. There we go. Get you over there, James. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Put out the fire. Thank you. Fire fan, could you fire defensive for me? We've got unidentified fighters. We'll just use the auto attack for a second. Use the recon as well. Uh, quick emergency dive to put out the other engine. I'll be fine. Stick to low altitude. Nearby hazards being added to map. Waiting for the map update to give us the nav order to go to the target. There we go. That's what we need. PVS, you can use your focus as well. They are dropping like flies, I tell you that. Come on, PVS. Oh, you're out of ammo. Well, good thing you can move around real quick. I like the sound of that 50. I'm not sure if it's really doing as much damage as I'd like, but it helps a lot. Get you to put the fire out again. Use a lean while we're at it. Now we are flying next to an airfield, so that's going to make it so that they fly up a lot of planes. That's going to be very annoying. Enemy destroyed, well done BVS. There we go, long stroke. We're not quite there yet, so we're good. Enemies on the rear, somewhere. There they are. We'll get a quick tag on them, that's fine. Nope, that's electric failing. Crap, I forgot the bomb bay doors in now. Yep. Takes up the medium. Evade flak real quick. Uh, focus. Focus defense. There's a lot of flak here. Undoubtedly. We'll be fine. Repairs complete! I like it! Getting your console. Let's do some leaning. There we go. Uh, we'll close the bomb bay doors real quick. There we go. We're done evading flak, so we are good to go. Towards the target. We'll probably do an emergency dive as soon as we get close to the target. Because I can't see crap right now. That fighter's on fire, he should go down soon. Yeah, emergency dive now. Open the doors, we're coming up on the target. Look at that, look at those bombs. It's gonna be raining said bombs pretty soon. Oh, did I just... No, we're slightly on time, I think. Yep, good to go. Nice little shot there. Jerry's up above. Alright, let's get out of here. Thanks. Works for time. Oh, we've got unidentified fighters coming in. Auto tag, radio for recon. All that jazz. Hit the focus, hit the defensive. Everyone focus on everything now. Oh, we're down an engine? Uh, we are kind of flying in the wrong direction here, though. Gonna have to go down. Put a custom marker down. Yeah, we need a nav update. Get some ammo real quick. Lean. Whenever you're ready, James. We're going to go in the other direction. That'll be a lot more beneficial to us. As for you, I'd like you to use your... Uh, your bravery to fix that engine for me. We just... Oh yeah, we lost an engine. Crap. 
That's not good. Alright, focus and defensive. I'm not sure if those are like combining those is a bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. Alright. Get some ammo over there because that turret's nearly out. We'll hit the focus on you as well. Going past your Juvencore. Or however the hell you're supposed to pronounce that. This with a medium. We are technically still in the flak hazard area. Pouring out a good amount of fire now. Sarge, let's hit the focus. Let's see if we can get him a shot on the dorsal there. I don't think so. Yeah, that was a waste. Oh well. Fighters going down though, we're getting a good amount of experience for this. Look at him going on fire and all that. Hell yeah. You're out of ammo. Yeah, makes sense. There's a fighter somewhere over here. You know what? Not on. Auto attack. Radio for recon. Just in case. Super Sarge. Out of ammo. Let's get some. Oh boy. Medium fighters. Focus right now. Hit, hit defensive. There we go. Get him off our tail. They're going to do a lot of damage there. If they can. Good. He's down. That leaves two. They did scatter, thankfully. They're definitely coming to get some, I'll give them that. I'm gonna say that's gonna be the best direction to head in. All ammo belts used, okay. Get him. Get him. There you go, come on, get him. That's the stuff. Okay, apparently we're supposed to head over there anyway. Ah! That helps. You know what, yeah, let's let's quickly check over there. There might be optional recon. We are running into slight fuel issues because we are technically missing an engine now. Oops. Auto attack ready to use, well, in that case. We've got seven minutes of fuel. I don't think it'd be a very good idea, but we can quickly check, right? It'll be fine, we're close to the channel now. We fighters on radar. Up on high, yeah. That's a fire. Fuel tank is leaking. Are they both leaking? I need you to fix that because I don't know which one that is. I think it's tank zero. I'd like to say it's tank zero. Ow, getting mildly shot at. Not great. Nanon's also getting shot at now. Oh dear. Uh, you know what? We're heading back to base now. James. Clean. Immediately. EBS. Uh, fix that engine. You get ammo. There's three of them left. We should be good. Uh, we're not really in too much trouble that I think we need to go and, like, emergency heal anyone with the first aid skills. Gotta hold them off so we can fix that engine and then we'll be fine. There you go. We'll be fine now. Took a fair bit of damage, though. Yeah, hit the lean. Seven minutes of fuel left with the lean. We're using up fuel very fast, and oh, we're good. I don't have leaks anymore. We are leaning. I'm not, like, leaving the bomb bay doors open or anything. The only reason is because we're down two engines. Yeah. The lightweight one and one of the standard ones, actually. Might not be the worst idea to start investing into better things. Like, I don't know, armored engines. Very dramatic music, I'm gonna be honest. But we're good. We should be fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're good. Kinda worried, but not really. Whew. That was a mission, wasn't it? Only two engines, but not bad. It's more than one. Even on one, we could technically come back. And we've got both landing gears! Huzzah! We, oh yeah, you're complaining, but saying, that's ah, fine. See? Three minutes of fuel, we're good. We got the optional recon, we got the things. Took a fair bit of damage, but we're good. Truck factory is gone! Back to base bonus, and an extra 2,500 buck, um, 2,500 pounds from the recon with 125 extra intel. Looking good, we're over 10k now. Nanon's probably gonna go up a level. I might, Super Sarge might, Longstroke, probably Gunner. There we go, Super Sarge now level 8, oh, Incendiary. And Longstroke's got Defensive. Got level 9 Pilot, level 8 Radio... It's looking good. Effective for a duration, great against all fighters. Does not deplete normal ammo. Oh dear, that's so good. We've got a homing pigeon mark 2. Custom liveries. Armored engine mark 4. I kind of like that idea. We've got 6,800 bucks. Let's see how we can spend it. Engines. If I take you to the armored... I mean, armored engine level 4 has a thousand health standard engine level 3 has 350 that stays the same for the mark 4 I could theoretically switch these over to armored engines mark 4 and they would just get a crap ton of health which is good I was kind of tempted to go for the uh, standard engines mark 4 they'll keep the same health but the weight limit increase is 1500 yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade you to a standard engine. You'll get, like, a bit more health. So you might not fall off as often and catch fire slightly less. And I think I'll keep the inner ones will be armored engines after some point, And the outer ones will be normal ones. Because, you know, the, uh, the inner ones have the landing gear on them. I think that's why we might be taking so many hits to our landing gear. Because we don't have the, um, we don't have the increased armor for it. And I think landing gear uses the engine armor as well. Also, that pigeon has a hat on. I think it's amazing. That just needs to be, that needs to be stressed how important that is. I think our systems, I'm tempted to upgrade systems a little bit because we are relying on the radar a lot. In fact, I think we could go for a radar upgrade. Gets us 500 extra range, so we've got earlier warning. Which is really good, but then again, if we go for Radar Mark 4, we'll probably get a sweep time decrease. Let's go for the Engine Extinguishers Mark 2, so we can extinguish two engines at once. Oxygen's already rather reliable, and we've got the big O2 bottles for like 1 minute 10. Fuel tanks... Uh, tempting. I want to get the self-sealing one, but, uh... We'll go for a small increase in armor, maybe? Sure. So they're slightly less likely to leak now. Do we go for an equipment slot increase? We could get it. Standard fuselage over there. I'm going to increase the armor a little bit. I like coming home. Alive. There we go. Can't do the nose one, though. Because we're out of monies. Let's check over crew gear, because, you know, we've still got those combined survival vests that are just amazing. Uh, who needs to move occasionally? I think I'll give it to Super Sarge. Because the toughened survival vest has 10 more armor. 30 survival for both, because that's amazing. And extra movement speed. Since you're on the dorsal turret, and you might need to get grab ammo occasionally if uh, BVS is occupied doing, well, all the things on the plane. I think that'll be good. Right then. Let's go for the mission. 
Enemy A's. Oh dear, we're gonna have an enemy ace in the area. That's fun! Enemy armor is gonna be down for one mission. Both of these are terrible. I don't wanna waste the enemy armor down. I'm gonna bet that we can knock out the dam with the ace. And we'll get a crap ton of money if we do. We'll be knocking out a dam that supplies an enemy hydroelectric power station. To do this, we'll be dropping an experimental bouncing bomb. You'll be flying low and facing enemy AA guns, so give it your best shot. Alright then, chaps. We fitted a bomb with a bouncing bomb to destroy the dam. Don't get it let damaged. Operation Chastise. Alright, this is going to be a fun one. Fun as in, it's going to be hell. We'll get BVS to grab some extra ammo. We'll put it on the ground so that Longstroke has an easier time. Uh, you know, he doesn't have to walk all the way back there to get some belts. I think, I think that's a nice thing to do, right? No, 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 thank you. Yep. There we go. That's going to be on the ground there now. We're going to lock in a course. And we'll go to medium altitude for this trip. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Bruno Brennan, is active in the area. We can get five grand if we shoot him down. Or we can get murdered horribly. If his name is anything to go by, he's going to use flames a lot. And I don't like that. Not at all. Oh well. Takes up to medium altitude. BBS, hit the lean. There we go. Get some extra life out of our fuel tanks. We're carrying a big bouncy bomb. That's not very aerodynamic. We're also... Like, removing the bomb base, so this is going to be a bad mission for us. Is that... Is that flak? Can't be. Surely. Start radioing for recon. We can't really see the ground. Or much of anything, so... As far as we know, we're flying over clouds. Firefan, you can do that. I know we've got BVS able to do it, but Lean still got a ways to go, so... Kinda don't wanna. You know, Firefan's also a certified mechanic. They broke. Okay. Big deal. It's not gonna take them any longer to, uh, to fix it. It just means that we can't use the turrets for now. Still kind of annoying, don't get me wrong. We'll run BVS back there as soon as, like, things start going horribly wrong. Which might be soon. I've got to be honest, it might be soon. That's fixed. Well done, Firefan. Begin the slow crawl back home. Now that's flak I'm hearing. Proper flak. Below our altitude. No visibility? Yeah, no. That's fine. 17 minutes of fuel, that's not good. Lean's recharged, there we go. It's gonna mean that we fly for longer. But it also means that we can fly for a lot longer. So, yeah, there you go. We'll save a little bit of fuel once we start flying down back to low altitude. I haven't seen any fires yet, which is odd. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I like not finding enemies. It just feels a bit weird. Radio for recon's nearly recharged, that's good. Music is shifting. We've identified flak right below us. Oh, we're flying over to the flavor polar again. Hello, Netherlands. Best place to be. So yeah, we're quite a ways north of where we should be then. I don't think that's a problem, because it means we'll be able to fly around some of their defenses. Just don't think it's the recommended trip, that's all, yeah. I'm gonna stay the course, thank you very much. I've seen your recommendation. And I think flying directly to the target is suicide. I mean, just look at the air defense cordon they've placed over there. If we can subvert like half of it, we might be able to avoid some fighters, at least on the trip towards it. The trip home will be hell. But then again, we were always prepared for a trip to hell. Sort of. 
At least fuel's doing fine, right? We've got the slightly armored fuel tank, so we're less likely to take any damage on those and start leaks. Half our fuel remaining. Are you sure? Oh, it's like half of a full tank. We didn't start with a full tank. We started with like this. So we've used like a third of our fuel or something like that. And we are technically north of our target, so I think we'll be fine. Lean just ran out. Yeah, fuel usage is slightly higher because of the big bloody bomb we're carrying. Oh, good. I would love to, you know, there's a clear ground right there, navigator. Oh, there we go. I just needed to zoom out. Fair enough, that was on me, not on the navigator. Sorry, James. Still got 16 minutes of fuel left, according to the thing. When just flying regularly, so that's not too bad. There's something ahead over there. There's these clouds, never mind. I was about to say, that might be sand, but no. Once again, I'm dreadfully wrong. That's beginning to be a constant thing around here. So we know we need to be roughly over there. Not sure what side we need to approach it from. You know, it's a dam. It's built in a very specific way. Kind of makes sense, don't it? Yes, please radio for recon. I think we'll just avoid the flag for now. And try to fly around it. Out of curiosity. We see any... Oh, okay. Visibility is pretty good up here from medium altitude. Intel received. Okay, there's the mission target. Well, we knew that. I kind of still like the idea of flying around it, though. We haven't seen a single fighter yet. I'm okay with that. Because it means we might live. It's going to be hell if we drop that bomb. The Germans are going to go wild. Like bees from a hornet's nest. See, I think we'll approach it from... Oh, hello. I think that's a good idea. And after that, we will approach the mission site and try to bomb it. Hopefully we'll have good visibility, so we only have to do one pass on medium altitude. They're gonna have flag defenses. I like how Nanon's able to call it, like, fighters on the enemy fighters on radar, even though the fighter blip hadn't seen them yet. Get on focus, there we go. He's already- wow! Well done. Fair enough. Very nice. That was good. Good stuff. Nanon, auto tag for me. James. Keep flying this course, basically. He's taking some shots. That's good. Focus on the incendiary for me. Oh, look at that self. That is great stuff. Fire fan. I'm going to pull you to fix that. Oh, wow. These guys have no idea what's hitting them, do they? Jesus. I've got a good feeling about this. Well, let's turn in. Because that side has the least... Uh, well, it's got the most flak defense. That's probably where the entrance is, right? Goodbye. Any fire to spot it? We haven't seen the blip yet, but... Okay, just more over there. They keep taking off from the airfield. It makes sense. Firefan completed repairs. Well done. Good boy. Good lad. Enemies right over there. That's going to be annoying. Get the focus. Ah, oh, look at that. Focus. And they're just flying straight towards us. They're super easy to hit. Switch it up a little bit. Get us down to low altitude. We're going to have to dive into the flak. One more. Oh yeah, he's got to go down soon. That was a very accurate burst of fire. He is on fire. There we go. Approaching the dam. Remember to start bombing at low altitude. Give me an emergency dive. We need to get down there in time to spot the targets. 
All right, we've got a lock. Flying into bombing position now. We're looking good. Make sure to refill all the turrets on belts. Lean's about to run out. Okay, let's get you on the turret then real quick. Taking some flak fire. They're putting out a bloody ton of it. I don't think we can afford to go evade flak right now because we need to be lined up very specifically on the target. In order to be able to take shots. And like drop the bomb successfully. Alright, we're making our direct approach now. Too bad we don't have an actual Lancaster flying in front of us to draw the fire. We're gonna feel this. Sadly. Take photos of Well, bloody good. That's not what we need right now, though. Make sure to line up on the actual dam. Targeting lights are gonna come in soon. Engines on fire. Now, drop the bomb! Get us up to medium altitude. There goes the bomb. Good stuff. Now we need to put out the fire. Electronics are down. I realize that. Sorry. You know Hit flag evade. That's probably a good idea right now. Top stuff. Return to base. I would bloody love to. Oh crap, that's a Dornier 217. Super Sarge, focus this in the area. Yeah. Alright. Top stuff, lads. We're nearly out of the flak. Take us down to medium altitude again. Or low, rather. Let me navigate. And I'll get you home. Yeah, we need a navigation update. I'd love to give you one. I really do. Get some extra ammo for him. There we go. Very nicely done. We still haven't seen that ace yet, though. Lean. Got a navigation marker. Alright. Enemy destroyed. Well done. With that 50 cal and it, the accuracy right now is working. Got another one trickling in. I'm not sure why they're taking off one by one. Well, we'll take it. Haven't seen Bruno yet either. We're honestly doing pretty well, all things considered. Another enemy down, bloody hell. Good stuff, lads. We might actually make it out alive. That nav marker is going to take us right back over where we came from, pretty much. Head up to medium altitude. We are getting out of here. Huh. I'm beginning to think the game's like, hey, you should have flown over here. I mean, we'll still have to phase down Bruno Brennan at some point. Do a quick course correction, and that should take us all the way to England. Sheesh. You've marked a new heading. Yeah, we're, we're flying fine. Thank you. This is pretty much going to take us back directly to home. That said, this wouldn't be a bad one. So it would take us slightly south and we would have a better lineup on the runway. Oh, that's oxygen breaking. Getting a low fuel warning now. I think we'll be fine. Oh, we still had a bit of lean left, but moving you off the station kind of got rid of it. That's a shame. Reach medium altitude, that's going to ease up on our fuel usage a little bit. We're also flying out of the way of flak, which is good. Oxygen is nearly repaired, and although we're at the altitude where oxygen is an issue. Repair is complete, we're flying over Dalen. Oh, we've got 7 minutes of fuel left, that's not good. Fighters coming in front. That's not great. Hit the focus. 
Focus incendiary, in fact. Very nicely done, boys. That's the stuff of legends. More fighters on radar, coming in from low. You don't need a navigation update, we're good. 13 minutes of fuel left on lean. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, 50 cal. Proving its value right now. Very nice. Radio for recon for a bit. Thirteen minutes of fuel left still. New intel received, adding the map. We'd know if there was another optional intel at this point, so we're just gonna bug out straight away. Kinda curious why Bruno Breton didn't show his face. There's still time, granted. I just hope he won't. I'm gonna rely on auto attack for a little bit. Focus is ready to use, don't mind if I do. Takes up the meat uh, to high for a little bit so that the bottom turret can fire the ventral. Because it does a crap ton of damage! Look at that, that's the stuff. Lean's pretty much out anyway, we're gonna go fix that. You need to ammo up. With one more fighter trying to bother us right now. Alright. Looking good. We are over the channel now. Get us home. He goes boom, that's good. Suffering a bit from low fuel. Five minutes of fuel left without lean. We'll be good. We'll be home. It's fine. Tiny course adjustment. Take us down to low altitude. That's going to further ease up on our fuel usage a little bit. We'll be fine. We've barely taken any damage. Like, sure, we've got some bullet holes, but not that many, all things considered. No parts have taken any, like, major damage. We didn't see Bruno Brennan. That's good. That's very good. I guess we can re ammo, uh, like restock ammo just in case. So that was good, yeah. Very successful mission. Would have loved to play the actual Dan Buster Steam instead of just humming it, but you know, copyright and all that. I doubt they would appreciate it. There's the runway. London's ahead. Jolly good work, lads. We've made Bomber Command proud today. Yeah, we're final fuel. Welcome home, lads. You've been quite the target tonight. There we go. Back on familiar ground with fuel to spare. That's how we like to do. We've completed Operation Chastise. We are now famous dambusters. There will be a movie about us one day. And we managed to snatch five grand for that one recon photo. Because we have now completed part three of the campaign. Mm. Didn't get to shoot an ace, but we also didn't get murdered by the ace. So it's very much, you know, I'll take it. Any level ups? Yes, one on a long stroke. I think that's it, yeah. Oh well. Livery, Screaming Skull, Radar Mark 4, self sealing Fuel Tank Mark 1, Lightweight Fuselage Mark 3, Electro Systems Mark 4, Standard Engine Mark 5, Heavy Flag Vest Mark 1. We're up to 12k intel now, bloody hell. And we've got money to spend, so let's have a look. Uh, we'll take a look at James. We actually have Helmet Mark 2s lying around for you. We'll give you one of those, it's fine. That's for the vest, heavy flag vest. Is... Worse than the toughened survival vest. 
Huh. It, it has the same armor, but minus 30%. 30% extra movement penalty. Bloody hell. It doesn't even give survival either. It has like one thermal, but that's it. Sure, this one's expensive as all hell, but it'll, it's so many things at once. Wow. Okay. Aircraft. I want to see the standard engine Mark 5. Does it have a health increase? Yes, it does. That's seven grand. Holy crap. Only lowers our weight limit by a little bit. So I want to have these be armored Mark 4s at some point. Because they have the landing gear. That would be very nice, yeah. This would take us down by 250. It would give the en engine a lot of extra health, and right now this is the one that's going to drop off the most. Yeah, everything's so expensive. What does Radar Mark 4 do? Sweep time, minus one second. That's pretty good. Self-sealing fuel tank. That's also really good. Very heavy, but will only leak for a short duration. Lightweight fuselage mark 3, kind of useless. I'm going to go armor the nose. Because if we get shot on the nose, our bombardier is going to die immediately and it's going to do very nasty things to us. There we go, armor that up. Equipment racks, I think we're fine. We're going to get rid of the parachutes. I'd rather have more medkits. In case things go awry. We'll put some back on later. Huh. Just taking a quick look at the systems here. We can get it up to like... Hmm. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start like upgrading this one to get a little bit more health. Because frankly our, our systems are getting shot out a lot if we take fire in the tail. I'm not sure what the voltage upgrade is going to do. I really don't know. But we're going to upgrade hydraulics and electronics. I think. At least hydraulics, because we need hydraulics for the uh, for the things. Now, there's so many choices, it's just... Ugh. We're about to unlock 303 times 4. Wow. That would be basically double the firepower of the 303 Mark II times 3. No, the 303 times 2 Mark III. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Guns, numbers, words. Ugh. That's probably going to go through ammo a lot faster, though. I like the 50 cal. That's proven it's worth. Holy crap. Nose art. What's the... Uh... Huh. Slightly creepier than I wanted it to be. Oh, well. Engine. We need engines to come home. I might make you the standard mark 5. Because you'll get more health. Straight up, there we go. Done. We still have enough weight limit. We don't need the lightweight anymore. And this means it's got 400 health. Instead of the, uh, what is it? 125? That's gonna mean that our engines will last a lot longer. If we don't have any engines, we drop out of the sky. I don't wanna drop out of the sky. And then I guess we'll get one more, uh... You know, fire fan. You take a lot of fire. Get a heavy flag vest. No, a tough and survival vest. Good. That'll make you move slightly faster, as our resident engineer on board as well. In the back at least, so you'll be able to fix those electronics faster. I'm thinking about electrically heated middens, because it doesn't have much armor for you. And it gives a lot of thermal resistance. Who's the person with the highest thermal resistance right now? That would be James. He made it like halfway to high altitude before he started having trouble. We'll use you as a test case, I think. 31 thermal. Does take your movement down quite a bit. We'll use you as a test case for these. And to see like what our thermal resistance roughly needs to be. Huh, thermal boots, not bad. That's 10. If I don't take the thermal bins, that's another 10. You don't know where you need to be. That's the thing. And I want to give you a bit more armor. Like, we have it spare, so you might as well. 
Nanon, you're supposed to be a bit more mobile. But I also kind of want to keep you alive, because you're, like, the... F you're the medic that's going to be moving around a lot, so we'll give you that vest for now. You have no thermal resistance, though, which is kind of annoying. Don't have the money to give you blue beret, sadly. Could give you a helmet, but then you wouldn't be moving nearly as fast. I mean, I think it might be worth it to give you a temporary helmet rather than the service cap, because the service cap doesn't give a great boost, but we'll leave it for now. That's us! Yeah, every recon picture is now going to give us five grand. Oh my god. Subhunt, which doesn't pay anything. A buffet Teal Airfield, enemy ace in the area, high risk. Enemy armor down for two missions, 3600 for a mission, not bad. We get 6k now if we get back. Ooh, resistance weapon drop. The French resistance has requested a supply drop. They'll be waiting for you near the Maginot line. And this one, ammo dump. Enemy damage down. Also an enemy ace. Speaking of aces, let's have a look. It's still these two, okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I think... Depending on, like, I'm gonna quit the game now and then re-enter, so it might give me new missions. If it doesn't, we might go for the sub-hunt and try to find some extra things to tag. To recon. Like, it pays out horribly. Intel-wise, it's also quite neglectful, but... If we get one optional recon, that pays more than that. Granted, these will probably have, like, extra recon as well. But we'll see. Anyway! That's been it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. It really helps the channel. And it lets me know that you enjoy the series and that motivates me to keep going. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one folks.